How you doing everyone? It's Juan Romero here from Switchwatch. I'm back with another review, an indie game called Former 8, provided to us by Mixed Bag. So thank you very much indeed. Now if you like this video at the end of it, guys, please hit that thumbs up. It really means a lot to us. If you're a new watcher here, then consider subscribing to our channel. We've got plenty of videos like this here. And last but not least, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this review or any other Nintendo Switch game. Let's get into the Former 8 Review. So let's start with the story as the main character, Former 8, you're a small probe which has been sent to another planet. Your mission was simple, scan the planet, find out a bit more about it. On the way you crash land and you're alone in an alien world. You're a tiny little round bot in this place full of wonderment and danger. You are not made to fight but you will need to find ways of getting through expanses without succumbing to the inhabitants of this world. The game is all about exploration and as you explore this world you start to uncover more about what this place is. Let's take a look at the visuals. I want to say straight off the bat that the visuals in my view are absolutely stunning. I would go as far as to say exquisite in my opinion. This game just reminds me so much of Another World when it was released in the Amiga 500 back in the day. Very similar type of artwork, which I really like. The use of shadows is just pure brilliance in this game. The way the subtle lighting effects create depth to what is essentially a 2D game. I really admire the way the background is full of differing objects and colours to depict what is noticeably an alien world. The way the probe has a little trail of light emitting from it and how you are alerted to impending demise as the colour of this light changes when your probe is close to death. Or how when you drop a mine a little line of light tells you what direction the mine will fly in if you hit it with your shield. Everything is so subtle but so detailed at the same time. The way the camera pans out sometimes to show large open spaces makes you feel so small in a huge expansive world. I could go on, but I think for a two person development team, they have executed the visuals, in my view, to absolute perfection. The audio here complements the graphical style perfectly. The music is very, again, subtle and calming. The music in this game is just perfect for the subject matter. The sound effects are especially good. When collecting the energy for Former 8 to raise your health bar, for example, there is a blissful collection of piano notes going up the scale the more you collect in a row. It is the way the little alien creatures make a noise when they're coming towards you or the way the jellyfish sound when they emit their electrical attacks underwater. All these little things which add to the overall experience. The best compliment I can pay this is the fact nothing feels out of place. It all just flows and works amassing to a beautiful audio and visual feast to create an intoxicating atmosphere. And on to the gameplay which I always say here at Switchwatch is the most important. Now gameplay is essentially about manoeuvring Former 8 through a number of zones and narrow passageways in a metroidvania type game style. Former 8 feels just delightful to control. The way you glide the little probe using its energy in the way of a little thruster. Of course if you want to stop yourself banging into walls you need to control your thrusters by turning your little probe in the opposite direction. The controls are extremely simple and during the first few moments of the game you will absorb a component from another probe which has been totaled. You can use this newfound power to fire off what I can only describe as an outward shield which only lasts what seems like the blink of an eye. You can use this to ward off anything which comes towards you or if you time it perfectly you'll be able to destroy a few of the creatures with just one or two shield hits. You will later on get a mine which you can leave hanging around for it to explode which is useful to bring down walls to reach new areas, find secrets or to dispatch larger enemies. What's really cool is you can use your little shield to bounce the mine off it so you can dispatch or hit enemies further away from you in case you don't fancy close combat. Later on you'll also get a speed dash. You'll also want to keep an eye out for all of the collectibles this game has to offer for some nice little secrets which I will not spoil for you. You will come across some small puzzles which are, although at first seem uncomplicated, they work really well in this style of game but you will then come across some puzzles which will leave you scratching your head. 
You'll get to some areas where you have to move things about, and these were my least favoured parts of the game. There is also some speed dash parts to the game where you have to light a number of lights in a certain amount of time to get a collectible for example, and I enjoyed these quite a bit, and it's great that there was this amount of variety, what at first seemed a very simple game. I've often said in games I don't like signposting and I'm in the mindset that I like to work things out for myself, however I've also said that there is a happy medium to be found. I can see many getting frustrated as this game's answers are not immediately obvious. For some that will be a blessing and for others it will be a turn off. There is no real tutorial here except for which buttons to press at the beginning and that's about it. Everything else you have to work out on your own. What I did find difficult at times is finding out what to do next or where to go. You will come across parts of the game that you simply cannot access and it will force you to backtrack because you've either missed something or simply just went the wrong way or you just didn't have the relevant power to unlock that specific area. I do feel that this could have been managed a little better and is my only real criticism as the minimap for example is not that helpful and you will get lost and confused when backtracking through the many tunnels. The bosses themselves can also be considered a puzzle the way that you think at first to beat them is often not the way at all and you'll really have to think outside of the box and at first it is quite frustrating as you need to find the answer. The satisfaction though you get when you do work it out on your own without resorting to any sort of guide is tremendous though. The enemies in Former 8 are dangerous and they engage when you get close enough. The thing is, if you do, they will go all out to kill you and follow you around. Your aim here is to explore first and to kill when you have to, and when you do, these enemies will always drop energy for your probe to recover. It seemed to be that the enemies were more inquisitive in nature at first when you first visit their world, but they get really deadly later on and there'll be all sorts of nasties which are insect in nature to a degree to take you down. There are also environmental hazards like shooting lava or on the lava stage or shooting ice crystals in the ice stage. Finding a checkpoint will replenish your energy bar and if you die you will respawn at the checkpoint which is welcome as you will die quite a few times. The game is challenging but more in a sense of having to be persistent to find the answers you are looking for. And so on to value, the game is priced at $8.99 in the UK, $9.99 in the US and $9.99 in Euros in Europe. I think for what you get this is very very fairly priced. This is an exploration game which will take you some time to complete and even when you do I'm sure you will have missed some areas and secrets and I would say the second time around will be worth playing through to uncover the many secrets this game has hidden in it. So on to my verdict, if you get frustrated by the answers not being immediately apparent and the pacing being a little slower than usual, then this isn't the game for you. You need patience here. Former 8 is not a game you will come across every day in the indie gaming scene and not even in the mainstream gaming scene. It is of such quality and grace that I honestly think most of you should give it a go. A game so enchanting and full of wonderment in an alien world, a world you cannot help but want to explore. The atmosphere created with its gorgeous visuals and audio quality plus the way the game plays is an absolute joy if you love to explore, solve puzzles, uncover a story as you go and become attached to a little lost probe even though the whole time it shows absolutely no emotion like Winston in the Castaway film, then you'll love this. Former 8 like the probe itself is a wonderful Wonderful game and one I wholeheartedly recommend. A solid 8 out of 10. My name is Juan Romero from Switchwatch. If you like this review, guys, then do me a favor and please hit that thumbs up button. If you're a new watcher here, we have loads of reviews like this one on our channel. Consider subscribing, that'd be fantastic. And last but not least, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this review or any other Nintendo Switch game. You know what I'm gonna say. I'll see you on the next one.